Archaeologist Mark Molnar with special Blizzard 2015 coverage here at the Media Mark Forecast Weather Center here at Weather Northeastern. Before we get into special coverage of this historic epic blizzard, let's take a look at viewers sent in photos here. Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, getting us in that wintry mood four to six inches over the past weekend. He was able to build his first snowman and even the county to his north, Skokale County, upwards of eight inches. And he basically shot some nice winter wonderland photos here. Many of you will see things like this over the next 24 to 36 hours and even much bigger than this as well in parts of New England. So let's get right into those liquid precipitation amounts from New York City up towards Boston. This is where we could see the heaviest snowfall on the order of 18 to as much as 32 inches of snow and of course liquid equivalent two and a half to three and a half inches. Let's take a look at what we've got going on for snowfall totals. If you look towards the I-81 corridor, I've cut those snowfall totals down as this system is consolidating a lot of its energy towards the coastline. This means more snowfall for places like Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, as well as Eastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod as well. And of course, New York City, you've been right on that edge. You're still gonna see blizzard conditions anywhere from 18 to as much as 32 inches, depending on what part of the city you're in. So still a lot of snow to be had. And heading back into New Jersey here, Philadelphia up towards Trenton and Newark could be on the order to a foot and a foot and a half here. And Coconos and Catskills, depends on where you are, but I've lowered snowfall totals as the Storm as consolidating a lot of its energy here up towards Boston, Providence, Hartford, parts of central Long Island. This is where we could see amounts up in the 30 inch range, potentially approaching 40 inches in some areas. We're gonna see some really high snowfall totals out of this system. Let's take a look at the factors surrounding this system. Alberta Clipper moved in from the Ohio Valley, transferred its energy to the coast, and this system will go through bombogenesis, as they call it, a good 30 to 40 millibar drop within a 24 to 36 hour period as this system will explode off the coast. Strong high with this system to the north. This could slow the system down just south of southern Long Island here. And this is what we could see the system either stall for several hours or even do a loop off the coast here. So we're going to have to watch this. And the longer the system stalls, the more snow could potentially fall for the Northeast Corridor. Let's take a look at those model plots here. American models have been a little bit stubborn with further east, especially the GFS, but the NAM and the Euro have been trending a little bit farther west towards the coast here. And that means that New York City to Boston Corridor and all points in between, you need to be watching this very closely. So let's take a look at the wind speeds out of this system because this is a blizzard and one of the biggest and most vicious parts of a blizzard is the wind and you combine the wind with that tre tremendous amounts of snow two to four inches an hour in some locations and look at this new york city could see wind gusts on the order of 50 to 60 miles per hour parts of long island 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts and parts of over towards cape cod here I would not be surprised if 80 to 90 mile per hour gust as this system approaches from your south and southwest here. So this is going to be a very dangerous storm. You're not going to want to be out traveling in it. Most cities are shutting down travel and it's advisable to stay off the roads because not even the snow plows can keep up with accumulations this great. So this even further inland towards Providence and over towards Hartford here, we're still looking at wind gusts on the order of 45 to 55 mile per hour winds. You combine that with the heavy snow and you still be seeing tremendous accumulations in wind even deep into Massachusetts, Connecticut, parts of the lower Hudson Valley of New York as well over towards uh, New Jersey and New York City. So let's get right into those surface maps, heading on into your Tuesday. Look at this, the red shaded area, blizzard conditions. Do not go anywhere, just stay at home and up towards portions of Maine later in the day as well. You'll be really getting in on those blizzard conditions. Cape Cod, Long Island, New York City, up to Boston, Providence, and Hartford. Back further west here, the snowfall kind of shuts off here towards the I-81 corridor and things start to get really cold. Look at this as the system pulls away. We still see some remnant wrap around here on your Wednesday, but look at this. Cold temperatures filtering down across southern Canada, Ontario, Quebec here. 
temperature is going down below zero for highs and even in New York State here. But then Thursday, we start to get a return a little bit on some southwest flow here. This is where we'll start to see a little bit in the way of a next system, but this won't be any major system like the blizzard that we're dealing with. Now I'm going to have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upstate New York, Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. But don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. It's, it's Twitter at uh, WX Northeastern and Google Plus at Media Mark. Take a look at this. Not seeing much of a blizzard here in the twin tiers of New York and Pennsylvania. We're starting off the forecast period cold and some lingering snow showers into your Tuesday. Lows looking really cold and highs not getting much out of the teens. Thursday, or heading on into Wednesday and your Thursday. We start to warm things up more towards Thursday as the next system pulls through. Maybe a chance of snow showers uh, later Thursday into Friday, but nothing major. And we start to turn cold again for the weekend as we have another cold front moving through. This is going to do it for special blizzard condition coverage here at Weather Northeastern.